Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's short video will be showing you guys how to store your USDC stablecoin tokens offline on your Tracer hardware wallet through the Tracer desktop suite. Now, as you can see, I'm currently on Bittrex right now. I've, I have some USDC left on my account here. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna withdraw it to my Tracer device through the desktop suite. So what I'm gonna do now is go to withdraw on the exchange. And now I need a wallet address to send my tokens to. But first, on the Tracer desktop suite, I need to add the USDC contract address. That way it shows the tokens. So I'm gonna to go to etherscan.io here, and I'm going to go to search, and I'm gonna type in USDC. And as you can see, the contract address pops up. What I'm gonna do now is copy the contract address, and I'm gonna head on over to the Tracer desktop suite, and I'm gonna to go to tokens. And then I'm gonna to go to the triple dot here and then add token, paste token address, and hit add token. And now as you can see, USDC has popped up here. Now at this point, all I need to do is go to receive to get my Ethereum address, hit show full address, confirm it on my Tracer device, and then copy my address. Once I have this address copied, I can minimize my desktop suite, head back on over to the exchange and paste my wallet address in here and then choose the amount to withdraw. As you can see on Bittrex, the fees are pretty large right now, obviously on the Ethereum network. So always be conscious of, you know, before you withdraw tokens from exchanges, be aware that there are some hefty fees right now that uh, are currently on the Ethereum network. And now what I'm gonna do uh, is hit withdraw and finish the transaction on Bittrex to send my tokens to my hardware wallet. And now as you guys can see, I've finished the transaction as the USDC is no longer on the exchange. And now I can head back over to my Tracer desktop suite, minimize this, head back to my tokens page and wait for the USDC to arrive. All right, as you can see, my USDC have now reached my hardware wallet and they are safely now being stored offline on my device. If I wanna send these USDC tokens back to the exchange or to another wallet, all I need to do is go to send, paste the address I want to send my tokens to in this box here, switch this from Ethereum to USDC, and I can now choose how much USDC I want to send to an account, choose the fees, and then review and send. Now, one thing to always be aware when you're using the Ethereum network is the, the uh, blockchain can get uh, pretty congested with the fees and the usage. So as you guys can see right now, a normal fee on a transaction on the Ethereum network to use a ERC-20 token is around $44. If you don't need to send the funds right away, one thing that's always good to do is just check on Etherscan. As you can see here in the top left-hand corner, it shows the transaction uh, network and how much gas is being currently required to pass a transaction. So right now it's, you know, I would say 250 is relatively high. Sometimes this heads back down to, you know, the, the 60 to 100 area where you'd be paying probably only like 10, $20 uh, and fees per transaction. So always be aware of that uh, as transaction fees on the Ethereum network can always get, uh, they can get pretty high. And uh, that's it for today's video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.